What's up my nuggets, Mr. Phantasmo Ninja here. <laughs> I cannot keep a straight face, <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyways, as I record this commentary, I just found out that my favorite female commentator on YouTube has actually just beaten Mr. Phantasmo in the first round of Commentary March Madness. So obviously that is Kelly or K-pop. So I just want to first congratulate her and taking down that huge juggernaut. Her inbox is probably full of nuggets right now congratulating her in more negative ways. But that being said, I'm not a uh, Mr. Phantasmo hater or anything. I absolutely love Mr. Phantasmo. Uh, I'm a huge nugget myself, but I think we can safely say that her video was better even though his was pretty hilarious. But uh, yeah, we are playing a domination game on the map grid here. I'm using my Excalizor's fanboy class, the Akimbo Scorpions with Marathon, Steady Aim, and Scavenger. Uh, three of these perks is what you really want to do if you want to be using these weapons. And the Akimbo Scorpions are one of those weapons where uh, it's better using it Akimbo rather than using just the standalone single weapon by itself, I find. Uh, the single weapon just to, to uh, hit detection in this game, it's just better off with the Akimbo Scorpions, in my opinion. But I'm also using it with the uh, gold camo, and I think this is actually my first game that I posted with using gold camo. And a lot of you guys are actually messaging me because uh, you've a lot of you guys know I've been 15 prestige for a while. I haven't posted uh, any commentary with gold weapons, and uh, I don't know. Uh, just for the, the, I think the reason for that is I have such a huge stockpile of games, and I I always want to use old gameplay before I use new gameplay. And uh, yeah, that's just basically the reason right there. And the gold camo on the Scorpions is probably one of the best gold camos in the game, uh, tied with probably the AK-47, uh, just because it seems that they got the lighting and the texture right on the gold, on these weapons. If you see a lot of the other weapons, the golden camo kind of looks a little bit bumpy just based on the, col uh, the texture of the gun. As well, some of them are mixed with like a black finish, which looks uh, completely ugly in my opinion. <laughs> but yeah, Scorpions and AK-47 look pretty badass if you haven't gotten there already. And just that being said, I don't know what the appeal is about the gold, seeing gameplay with golden weapons. Some people actually start an entire series saying, I'm going to capture an entire series or gameplay with just golden weapons, and people just love watching it. <laughs> but I don't know why, because uh, it really doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't prove anything, it doesn't prove anything skill-wise, it doesn't increase your accuracy for by 5%, it doesn't increase your bullet damage. It doesn't blind people with its golden finish and gives you the upper edge on people or anything like that. It just, uh, it just means that you've leveled up a little bit quicker than the average person online or you've invested a little bit too much time in this game like me and you've reached 15th or 14th prestige already depending on where you want to stay. But yeah, it's kind of silly in my opinion, but uh, th these Kimbo Scorpions do kind of look badass, especially dual wield or and your emblems right there at the very back of it. Uh, especially mine with the Mayangi Oshiringa and kind of looks like two eyes are kind of staring at you at a distance but uh, yeah anyways if you haven't tried this setup I highly suggest you do it's a really favorite class by Excalizors uh, that's how I found out about this class and I just decided to pick it up try it out and I absolutely love it and while we're on the topic of weapons and weapon balance I don't want to turn this into a bitch video or anything but I'm one of the very few people left on my friends list who play this game consistently every night just because I still take enjoyment out of it. But I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's starting to wear down on me. And that's not because of the gameplay or the mechanics or the maps or anything like that. It's just because I'm getting tired of using the same weapons over and over again. My Commando, my AK-47, my G11, my FAMAS, my AUG, my M16. I'm the type of guy who likes to have a little bit of variety such as gameplays with a scorpion like this one. Um, but Black Ops doesn't lend to using any of the weapons just because the main reason for this is because there's no stopping power in this game and unlike other previous Call of Duties. And what stopping power did is that it really leveled out the playing field for a lot of the other guns at a lower tier. If you take a game such as Modern Warfare 2, you could use basically any weapon in that game and do reasonably well and consistently with. Uh, you could use your MP5Ks, you could use your Vector Silence, but you don't see that in Black Ops. Uh, in Black Ops, people rely heavily, heavily on the assault rifles. And you don't see the submachine guns or any other weapons uh, that often. And that is mainly attributed to the fact that there's no stopping power and there's a higher importance of just individual gun stats such as fire rate and damage. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. <laughs> 
not many people use anything beyond assault rifle anymore because there's really no reason to to do it so uh, to give you an idea of this I played about a three hour session last night and throughout the entire session I was counting and I only ran into about five submachine guns and only three of them were AK-74Us and to be honest with you guys 90% of the people online are using a FAMAS now and 95% of other th of that group is also either using a FAMAS or an AUG or an AUG. There's really no variety anymore. And a lot of people would argue that it is the ghost perk that really hurt Black Ops and that's something that I don't, really don't agree with at all just because anytime I run into a party that is using a lot of ghosts I just adjust my playstyle. I don't pay attention to my radar as much. I change my kill streaks to make sure I'm not using UAV because I know for a fact that's going to hurt me. And I proceed around corners a little bit slower than usual and always check my blind spots and it just it works out for me in my opinion. But in a one versus one situation, gun versus gun heads up, if I have a Spectre and the other guy has a FAMAS or an AUG, unless there's a huge, huge skill gap between the players right there, there's no way in hell am I going to win that gunfight. There's just no way, uh, just because those guns are opposite uh, spectrums of stat-wise. Uh, FAMAS and the AUG have submachine gun fire rates at 937.5 rounds per minute and they have pretty uh, decent damage rates as well. And I think that's really important if you want to add to the longevity of a game, especially one such as a first person shooter. You want to give people the opportunity to try different classes, different perks, different weapons and all that kind of stuff. And with the lack of stopping power that's really been limited, which is why you don't see anyone using weapons such as the Kepiris or the PM-63. It's mostly just as of right now, uh, the submachine guns are pretty much dying out online. Uh, in matchmaking. It's really all assault rifles at this point. And it also allows you to play the game at a much faster pace and more aggressively. And a lot of people think that Block Ops is slowed down because of the ghost perk, but that's not true at all. It's because there's no stopping power in this game. There's no incentive to run into an enemy spawn or into a building or around a corner where you know two or three enemies are stationed hoping to get a nice two to three man or quad kill feed because you honestly can't do it that consistently anymore in this game. Uh, just because uh, the only way you can pull it off is to catch every single one of those enemies uh, mid sprint and they don't have time to pull up their reticule to take you down. Otherwise your body is going to be hitting the floor even if you have a huge uh, jump on them. And which is why you see a lot of more of the aggressive commentators not playing this game anymore just because they can't play it at the pace that they want. But yeah, those are my overall opinions what I want back in the next Call of Duty. I would really want stopping power back. Just because I honestly think it will add to the longevity of the game, allow me to use different types of weapons, uh, and not get bored, to be honest with you guys. So yeah, game ends here. I uh, forget the final score, but it's a pretty decent one. I think it's like 37-2. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video hasn't been too preachy, and I'll see you guys next time.